Well, hip problems uh, are, are very frequent as, as we see in the practice, and they come in, in a couple of categories, really. We have the older patient that is developing osteoarthritis of the hip, uh, which uh, many people are susceptible to. The problem that we see is people seem to be developing osteoarthritis at a younger and younger age. And the replacements, though extremely good, don't last forever. And people get very worried when they think they might need two replacements in their lifetime. So they're looking for options that uh, they might get by longer without a replacement, or they might not need a replacement at all. And the option that we currently have available is the use of stem cells to uh, stem the tide of the osteoarthritic progression. Osteoarthritis is a progressive disease. We don't have a cure for it yet, but stem cells can help to repair the damage that osteoarthritis causes. And in so doing, it can prolong the ability of that patient to function and uh, enjoy life before they may need a hip replacement. Or if caught early enough, I think we can probably keep them from having to have a, a replacement. So the other category of, of uh, hip problems that we see is the younger patient, the athlete. And we're seeing a lot of uh, labral tears. The labrum is like a meniscus. It's like a, it's like a spacer that runs around the hip joint. And it's a piece of cartilage that helps keep the hip in its socket. And when that labrum, which runs around the outside, gets a tear in it, it can be a painful uh, episode and it can impair motion and it can create a lot of disability. So uh, the uh, minor labral tears are amenable to fixing with the biological agents. The major la labral tears need surgical intervention to repair them, but then biological agents afterward to help them heal completely.